Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may, call me, you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we explored Legram right before heading off to Lohengrin Castle. Um, every, like a couple of evacuees from the Civil War have been drawn to Legram because uh, Legram is still a peaceful village. Some of them are ha like happy with their situation here, some of them are definitely not. But uh, overall, the the population is doing pretty okay. But um, Laura and Emma need help over in Lohengrin Castle, so we're gonna go there. The boat is ready when you are. Will you be taking off for Lohengrin Castle now, then? Yes. In that case, do take care of yourselves. My prayers for your success will not cease until I see you back here completely safe. We appreciate it, Klaus. Let's get going. It's hard to believe it's the middle of the day with how poor visibility is. And this has been going on for a whole month. I imagine it's a manifestation of the chaos in Erebonia, much like the appearance of the higher, higher elements. There's a possibility whatever Emma sensed over at the castle is, in direct, is, is the direct cause. And I do feel like something strange is here this time too. Ah, this time too. You didn't follow us here during our field study, did you? Well, I suppose there's no harm in admitting it now. I had my own duty as a familiar to fulfill, you know. I was to make sure this area didn't have any undesirable effects on you as a potential awakener. What kind of undesirable effects? Does that mean Legram has something to do with the Divine Knights? More Lohengrin Castle than Legram as a whole. Once upon a time, a divine knight just like the Ashen and Azure Knight supposedly slumbered there. Are you serious? There are more than two? All I've heard are the ancient legends, unfortunately. So all I know is that there was once a divine knight here. And now it's gone, along with its awakener. Gone? Gone where, I wonder? That's kind of a big revelation. Oh, look, I can see the castle now. We're almost there. Prepare to disembark, everyone. This is one eerie old castle. Laura and Emma have would have no reason to explore the castle grounds, so let's just go straight inside. Yep, they're inside, all right. I can feel Emma's mana. Be careful on the way up. I remember how steep it was before, and all this fog is not going to make the trip any easier. Okay. Yay, exploration. There doesn't have to be a fishing spot here. Nope. You always have to be a little cautious with this game. Because apparently Reen can fish from a kilometer away if the fishing spot is there. Oh, what a pain. <laughs> you look awfully happy about seeing Emma again soon, though. <laughs> I do not! I don't like her one bit! No! Oh, sir! Sudere cat. That is a big revelation, not the part about the Awakener. Come on, you guys! Lohengrin Castle. Last time we were here, the castle had this weird light surrounding it. Kind of like the old schoolhouse. Based on what I'm sensing, it shouldn't take too long before... Wait, something's with... something is with her. I think Emma's fighting. Maybe it's what Emma was sensing before she left. Then we have no time to waste. We should hurry. Weapons at the ready. Right! Yeah. Uh. 
she's right up front. Oh, look at you, Laura and Emma. You have... Yeah, you're right. That style of clothing looks way better than what Fee's currently packing, but that's cool. Is that a cryptid? Yeah, it's the exact same one. It looks just like the one from Nord. Come, Emma. We'll fight with all we have. Oh, boy. Right! Stop! Hey, this ain't Dark Souls. You're not supposed to attack... Like, what is attacking the tail gonna do? Good dodge. Now, Laura! Of course! Be gone! Radiant Blade Dance. Well, you guys didn't need any help. Whoa! I can't believe they beat a cryptid all on their own. Wow. Laura's grown even stronger since we last saw her. Emma's no slouch either. Her powers never cease to amaze. <laughs> Looks like they didn't need our help after all. They're not out of the woods yet! So it seems. All right. Cell Venom, Gluttonous Lizard. You look nice. What is that? Cell Venom, the gluttonous, gluttonous Lizard. Didn't you hear me say it? Where did it come from? Laura! Emma! Don't weird them out even more. Am I imagining things? Reen! Celine! No, you're not imagining things. We can explain after we've taken care of things here. We'll back you two up. Ready? I can't believe you're here. Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone! Hmm. Oh, poor lizard. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. Emit poison. Oh, don't do that. Ow. Good dodge, Reen. What's going on? Uh, yeah, emit poison happened to poison, like, almost everybody. Do we have Recuria? I wonder. What we have is motivate. All right, let's do this. Understood. Understood. Okay. Let's see. I do have Recuria. Do I really want to cure all poison, or do I want to focus on something else? Do I want to get defense or health regen? Health regen might be more worthwhile than healing the poison, especially with. Resonant beat being stronger than before and being able to hit everybody. I think that's worth more. Alternatively, we could uh, switch in Eliza to use a strength buff. Keep it up, everyone. We'll start with this. It's my turn. It's my turn. Luminous Ray, Flame Tongue, Heat Wave, Holy Breath, and Analyze. You have Detector, Serene Blessing, Heals, one target. Ethereal Blades, yep. Arts Down, Crash and Shell, Defense Up and Magic Reflect, Astro Flare, Burning and Confusion on an enemy, and Detector. Detector's worth the most right now. Zell Venom, a lizard-like cryptid with countless parasitic spores on its body, which it spreads with a loud roar. Alright. You are not very, like, 
you're not gonna get any status of efficacies, are you? My turn. True armor breaker. You have Earth Cleaver, Brilliant Spin. That is a buff. Strength up and arts defense down and inside status. Um, you have 200 CP already and full strength buff, so I'm gonna attack with you. And right. then use Radiant Vaults. Because I'm not gonna have this guy have a crit run. Are you crazy? Bye-bye. Nice. Jeez. Let's move. Did you single out Emma there or did everybody dodge? Everybody must have dodged. That's unfortunate. I dislike having the formation broken. Especially since you have like no... you can use Recuria too. I don't like poison. Uh, Laura's turn isn't for yeah. quite a while. Let's clear that up. You're a jerk, and you know it. Okay. Sorry, can you handle this? We are I'll gonna get this. out Eliza, and I'm trying to use Laforte here. It only matters on the on the two up front, anyways. So we're doing this. I don't think Sharon's gonna get a lot of time here. Although she should. Let's move. Do I use crafts? You're weak against uh, Mirage, and you're gonna get unbalanced by by me doing this. So we're gonna link Laura and Reen, and we are gonna use Flame Impact. Burn to ash. Fall. Eight thousand. An opening. Of course. Of course. And actually, I really want to switch out for Sharon, but I'm not going to do that. We're using Luminous Ray because it's going to do a shit ton of damage, and we don't need what we could use. We don't need to optimize every little bit about this situation. Too slow. What in the and world? Now. I can do this. Heavenly gift on you too, of course. Light. Wings, you have 25 mana. That's enough for a true armor breaker. Shatter! More unbalancing. All the unbalancing. Leave it to me. Our strength buffs are fantastic currently. Too slow. Now's our chance. An opening. We Let's should move. probably either heal Emma or switch her out for someone who can use Chrono Drive and Sharon can use Chrono Drive. Burn to Green, ash. why oh. did you have to walk around the lizard? Oh, that's okay. It's already dead. That was extremely fast. Why did it not drop any? Now. Because it doesn't drop anything. 
That's what, that was extremely easy. We didn't even get particularly much experience out of it, but we didn't, you know, try for it. Oh, finally. Yeah, I can't sense anything else here now. You guys okay? Hmm. Y yeah. It's... It's really you, isn't it? I've heard that line a hundred times. You're all here. <laughs> of course it's us. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. This is all so sudden. Laura is our Sade. Nice outfit. Still. I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but <laughs> clearly I was mistaken. Hmm. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me. And I can't possibly thank you enough for fighting on so that we could see each other again like this. There's no need to apologize, Reen. I swore to swing my sword as a member of Class 7. And I always believed that we would meet again one day, and that I would be able to fight alongside my classmates once again. It's just... part of who I am. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're alright. And the same goes for you too, Emma. I feel the same way. Boy. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. I probably wouldn't look particularly good in, in an outfit like that, would I? Mm, mm -mm, I don't think so. The day has finally come where we can all be together again. Nice, like, jewelry piece on your hand as well. That looks cool. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. <laughs> a wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again. And the fact that we found each other makes everything we've been through along the way worth it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for all of you. It was only because I knew I could have faith in all of you that I could do any of what I did. So, thank you. You've really grown strong, Emma. <laughs> hmm. Wait, Emma! Oh, cute. Oh, thank you, Celine. Thank you for all the support you've given my classmates. And thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> Please, it was nothing. Mm. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. I guess. At least I won't end up astray. <laughs> Celine, there's nothing wrong with being honest about your feelings, you know. Oh. <laughs> Boy, does it feel great to be together again. Right. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids either. Might I suggest we return to Legrand for now? Uh, there could be loot in here though. Let's not return to... No, not what I wanted to hear. You guys are fine with that too, right? N uh, nope. Laura, your chance. Loot, right? You prioritize loot over everything else. That's fine by me. <laughs> oh. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. But that's, but that's not the priority here. Then we're off to the pier. <sighs> oh, I'm the one crying. You hurt me. The 
Fog's actually a little less dense than it was on the way here. Maybe because we defeated those cryptids? Most likely so. I imagine they were accelerating the development of a problem that would have appeared regardless. So while this situation should settle down for now, I'll ima I imagine it'll happen again in due time. Indeed, the fundamental cause is likely elsewhere and much more complex. Legram as a whole will have to stay wary for a while, I suppose. Still listening to what you had to say? It's troubling to think of how unpredictable this war is. There's no telling what direction it's going to take. Yeah, unfortunately. The fighting's be fighting between the Noble Alliance and Imperial Army is showing no signs of letting up. And we've still got no idea what's going on over at the Academy, or what happened to the Courageous and Viscount Narsaid. It's been over a month since we last heard from either of them. It, I'm a little worried, to tell the truth. I'm still fully convinced we have nothing to worry about in that regard. My father is alive and well. Of that I am certain. I believe in him. If you believe in him, then I will too. Hmm, I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I find myself more concerned about the whereabouts of Master Uses. One would expect Duke Elborea's son to be easier to find than this. Uses was in Legram at one point, wasn't he? Do either of you have any idea where he is now? He was with us when we fled the Academy, yes. Several days ago, he boarded a train to Berea Heart. He was growing increasingly concerned over, over what was happening in the region. At least we know where he went. That's a relief. That's one of the Alliance's most well-protected strongholds now. I'm surprised it's even possible to get there by train. It was at the time, but not anymore. The Alliance has brought in heavy restrictions on railway travel since his departure. We've been, a gr we've been at a loss as, what, as, as to what to do. That explains it. Well, we can think about that when we get back to town. If it comes to it, we could always walk there using the highways. Yeah, uh. how about that? Emma? What's wrong? The thought of walking is really, you know, a lot to take in, right? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. If you look very carefully as to where Reen's hand is, you will find out that it is right on top of Laura's dress. What do you make of that? Alright, never mind. About Story. me and Celine about Divine Knights and Awakeners. Oh. Oh. That means... Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? Yes, I am. Well, if you're sure... I imagine you've heard some of this from Celine already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them. Just as it did for many others before her, that duty fell to Emma as well. When you say the great power, you mean Valimar, right? Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes. As well as the fact that they choose an Awakener. And that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. <coughs> hmm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors. And yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. What right do I have to call myself your classmate after failing all of you like that? Hmm. Aw, oh, you're so cute! Don't be silly, Emma. You didn't fail us at all. Emma, you're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? 
Uh. I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. But this is where we should part ways. Emma. You said it yourself back in the old schoolhouse. That stuffed animal's really not helping right now. You said Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer, right? Reen, the stuffed animal on your shoulders. <laughs> Take you away your credibility. Uh, <sighs> I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. We all come from different backgrounds, and we all had things we were maybe scared to, or couldn't, tell anyone. Crow has his past, you have yours, I have this strange power of mine that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. That doesn't directly relate to the Divine Knights in any way, does it? No, though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. Hmm, that's not connected. It's not connected. So Crow doesn't have that. Hey, that's one thing. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. That leads us to believe that Crow has something else. All right, then. The point is that even after learning I had this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Green, you are Class 7. No, that's not true, but it's true. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Thee, Machias, Eusis, Gaius, Milium, Crow, and you, Emma. You're not an exception. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is. Just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Are you gonna pat her head in front of everyone? Please. Oh, Reen, I... No, he wouldn't. He would have to use his left arm and the stuffed animals on it. I think he only pats with his right arm. He's absolutely right. <laughs> Hey, almost. So I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are, guiding me, guiding all of us. And not just as a witch. But as a member of Class 7. But as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. Okay, it wasn't even close. Refuse when you put it like that. <laughs> All right then. Holding hands is the extent of your emotions right now. Can you just hug him? Can you not make it weird? I can't deny the ancient knowledge that I possess, or my position as a witch. But I always want to remain the same Emma Milstein of Class 7 that I have been since the day I joined Thor's. So please, let me stay at your side. Of course. <laughs> that goes without saying. Uh, always, Emma. Mm. We wouldn't want it any other way. What a picturesque fairy tale ending. I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can see Legram coming into view now. Would everyone mind gathering their things and... Oh, boy. What's that? Is that... That's not the Courageous, is it? Is that an airship? It's coming from the sky to the west. Is that... That's not the Courageous. That is trouble. Uh, 
Yeah, that is the Noble Alliance. An Alliance airship? Wait, that's a commanding officer ship too. Indeed. Well, it seems we have ourselves some visitors. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. New faces. Lamare Provincial Army Airship, Balu Bal Klutha. I am Aurelia Le Guin of the Noble Alliance. Aurelia Le Guin. I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsade. Who is that bodyguard of yours? Aurelia Le Guin. Hope you're hiding. The Noble Alliance pricks don't like you guys. Oh, you look so bored. Nice. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. Brigadier General. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. But I see that won't be possible. Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master. Hmm. But I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. You sound like an arrogant prick. I'm honored, General. <sighs> yeah, nobody would notice that. I can't believe they're here. Do you know them, Reen? They're really intimidating. Their names are General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardias. Wallace Bardias. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah, I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Sutherland Provincial Army Commander, Brigadier General Wallace Bardias. Brigadier General Bardias is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. Ooh, that sounds cool. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. From what I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him, too. Yeah, that's the first thought I had. He looks kind of like Gaius, but different hair. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Cool. Actually, he does kind of remind me of Gaius. Look at you. I wonder if that's how he came to be so tall. <laughs> A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykels during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. As for the woman with him... Aurelia Le Guin. She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. Rakshasa. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the Le Maire Provincial Army. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander schools of swordsmanship. Hmm. What? Wasn't the Vander school practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family? Lieutenant General Vander is a practitioner of the Vander School too, obviously. Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. Hmm. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Well, of course, have it not be neutral after they leave. 
Still, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed. What might you be suggesting? Be at ease. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Uh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red in One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. <laughs> True enough. Hmm. As if we didn't have enough opponents as is. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day too. That's unlikely. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. I am honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait I shall. I look forward to the day. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. Gone already? Perhaps so. Hmm. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends, but they seem to be feeling rather shy. Dun dun dun! No, sorry, I don't have a button. <laughs> Teasing them, are you? I would like a button that, that does that, but this is gonna have to, to do. I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential within them. It's not the door, by the way, even, had you, even if the door had been closed. As do I. They would have known. I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. Klaus, please escort them. As you wish, milady. Come to think of it. Perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. Mm. I hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into Legram. Frightening. Laura! <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves and we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. Yeah, I almost let out a little yelp when they mentioned us. Huh? They really did seem to be way beyond us in terms of skill. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. Oh well, a Roboros is going to turn on them halfway through the game, so now we're going to have a chance. With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Eusis. And once we've done that, then we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. Let's go to Berea Heart then. The stronghold. <laughs> Indeed. That's gonna be fantastic. Then let's start heading to Berea Heart. Klaus, I leave Legram in your care. Should father return during my absence, please give him my warmest regards. 
But of course, Lady Laura, worry not, Legram will be in safe hands with me. But if you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look out for Lady Laura for me. We always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please be well, Klaus. <laughs> Your words are much appreciated, but unnecessary. I will be perfectly fine, I assure you. The path ahead of us will be fraught with many challenges and dangers. But I will be praying that you will all be you all will be able to navigate it safely to its end, and from there forge your own paths. Do keep yourself safe. Thank you, Klaus. We'll be back as soon as we're as soon as we're able. It looks like the generals have already left. Yeah, that's our cue to get going too. But it does look like we'll have to use the highway to get to, get to Berea Heart. That shouldn't be a problem. Following the Abel Highway North will lead us straight to it. Perhaps we should pay our visit uh, to uh, we should pay a visit to the Bracer Guild before we head out. The receptionist there might appreciate a goodbye before we move on to Berea Heart. Yeah, you're probably ri right. Laura and Emma joined the party. Reen and Laura can now use Overdrive, and Reen and Emma. Reaching Berehard will cause the main story to advance. Doing so will make all unfinished quests disappear. But before we head over there, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!